Hi! In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at some of the highlights in the latest ALM Octane release. First up, this release introduces dashboard tabs. You can open up to 10 dashboards in parallel tabs and switch between them without losing context. A new table layout offers you another intuitive option for creating manual test steps. Each step has its expected result alongside it in the opposing column. You can now import a Word file to create or update requirements using a sidebar plugin. The requirement hierarchy corresponds to the heading levels in the Word file. You can now trigger automated test runs using Azure DevOps pipelines as test runners. When including manual run steps and attachments in document reports, links to run step attachments are now displayed in addition to the run attachments. You can now define that a test suite must run in a set order. Testers cannot run a test until all tests before it are completed. With business rules, testers can be notified when the next test is ready to run. You can now trigger a REST call as part of your release process flow. This allows you to integrate with different applications that are not supported by default. You can now rerun part of a release process. If issues occur during a process, you can run part of the process again to overcome the issues. And finally, you can now use the parent process fields to populate input property values. Check out the Help Center to learn more and enjoy the new ALM Octane release.